Space is Doug Keppen, a good buddy of mine that we've done a couple of videos. Um, he brought over his Gary Willis fretless, and now he's bringing over this really great bass that I am very unfamiliar with. It's a Kala U bass, correct? Right. The Kala U bass, and it is a, this is the fretless model. This is not. This is fretted. Oh, fretted model. Sorry. Okay, it is fretted. See what I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so can you tell us something about? It? Like I said, I am. Super unfamiliar with these bases. Sure, Kala makes uh, several models of this base. This one, uh, they're typically uh, more ukulele style body. This one has a cutaway. Uh, it's the Hutch Hutchinson model. He's uh, probably mostly known as the bass player for Bonnie Raitt and plays on big stages. So uh, this one doesn't have the sound hole. It has these small slots probably to reduce reverberation uh, from the acoustic body. Um, it's it's uh, fretted, so, uh, and, and on this bass, they, they typically come with what are called pahoho strings. They're black, kind of a rubber substance, but they're a little, uh, they're a little inconsistent in, in how they manufacture them, and so it's, they don't always play in tune, which is why so many people play fretless versions of the Kala basses because uh, you can adjust a little bit. These strings are called Thunder Guts, made by Aquila. Aquila, okay. And they're, I don't, I'm not sure what the composition is, a little bit different, and uh, they stay, they hold the intonation better. So you can play higher up the fretboard and it's more consistent string. And what's this one made out of? Uh, composition uh, woods? Spruce top. Okay. And mahogany back and sides. Oh, that's cool. It's got kind of nice looking binding, mm -hmm. I think. And uh, I have played it live, not on big stages, but you know, local gigs haven't had any feedback trouble with it, and or intonation, no complaints. So really nice. How about fingerboard neck? Or is that like an ebony, or is it kind of a? You know, I'm not. It's probably rosewood. I, I doubt it's okay. ebony. I'm not really sure. It's it looks it's, kind of rosewood. It's nice yeah. and consistently dark, though. It's a mm -hmm. nice, nice piece of neck meat. Cool. <laughs> and tuners are probably what, like. Just um, these tuners are uh, whatever color shots on here. They're not hip shot. Oh, okay. On, on the slightly more expensive models, mm -hmm. you get hip shot tuners, but honestly, they look the same. Cool. And they hold hold a tune, no they, problem. No problem at all. They're nice and smooth, and real consistent tuners. I've had no problem with them. Cool. How about playing wise, the way it hangs? How um, these bases don't come with a strap button up on the neck. Okay. So you can either tie a piece of leather or string up here. I mm -hmm. bought this. This is actually a, a Martin strap. Oh, okay. Uh, adapter for guitars, and you know where people don't want to put a strap button. It goes in, kind in of right logo. behind the nut where the strings are, and exactly. Then just... So huh. and I turned it around so the Martin logo is on the back. But <laughs> it basically has a strap button on it. Okay. And uh, so you can take your strap on and off if you want to. 
That's uh, cool. But it's really nice. It yeah, fits perfectly under the mm -hmm. strings. Does a good job. Okay. Is um, it a and it's a piezo pickup? Piezo, piezo, whatever piezo, you. Yeah. However, it, under the bridge. Okay. Exactly. And that's all that's in there. Battery, active mm -hmm. or is passive, it passive? Totally passive. passive? Okay. And then what's no the battery. little notch? There's a little. On the back. Yeah. What is that? Little thing. Uh, that's where you get to restring it. Oh, okay. So uh -huh. and this, let's check it out. This version has little magnets. Uh, in built in here. Oh, they're magnets? Oh, yeah, that's so it just sticks right cool. in. Cool. Let me see. Yeah. Nice. Nice and snug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it okay. doesn't fall out. So let's see. It works really well. Padded and mm -hmm. it does a good job. Cool. Uh, it's got a nice big nice. pouch on the front for your music, uh, whatever. Yeah. Cutting a lot of stuff in there, so cool. no problem carrying a tuner and a strap and uh, and nice. uh, cable, everything you need for that. Very cool. Very cool. The uh, one thing you'll note, you notice probably when I was playing that, if you if you miss fret on these, it can get a little ugly. And that's why a lot of guys prefer the fretless model. time and practice you mm -hmm. don't get that buzz very often and it's pretty cool I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, nice. it just it sounds huge when you're plugged in yeah playing on a gig it's just it's it sounds great just you know going through a 112 but right. I mean it sounds good but it really does the job you know I mean it's not like a second choice kind of an instrument mm -hmm. this, you can people are gigging this thing That's cool. yeah Are they mainly like 
jazz gigs or top like top forty stuff or is it what type of or styles uh, have you played? I can only personally for me mm -hmm. jazz. Jazz, okay. All straight ahead jazz. Uh, but I know guys are no, they make you know Kala makes uh, solid body versions as well. Oh, and guys okay. are using them on pretty much any gig. Wow. They say I'd say the the favorite gigs are jazz, mm -hmm. um, Latin. And R and B. Okay. Any Motown stuff? Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, just real thing. You know. Yeah, that's very cool. So, yeah. Cool. Very thick. All right. Well, thanks, Doug, for bringing it over and hanging at the base hang, and bringing over a really uh, cool, unique. This is it. This is it. This I'm is there. Th you're there. We are here. No, but um, you know, thanks for bringing over a nice, unique piece to to kind of go over and uh, yeah, got some good playing examples too. So. Thanks. Yeah. Steve Rajo and Doug Keppen, signing off. See ya. So cool. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, man, I fell down on the plane.